if you're checking my qualifications. But everybody knows about those myths and legends. According to Rutledge, the mask of chaos was imbued with magical powers. Don't think it. You don't think it. You think it had, actually exists, though? They find it unlikely that such a solid art artifact filled with magical powers would go unfound for this long. I found. If I thought that such treasures were still waiting to be found, I would be looking for them rather than here, lecturing you all. That being said, even if, if its existence and power was somehow proven, it would take a master archaeologist to find it. So, Asphalt, if you're done with your series of irrelevant questions, perhaps I can continue teaching you your irrelevant your Relevant answers. Yes, sir. <laughs> of course, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, Randall. Sheesh. Since you are so keen to show off your formidable intellect, Ascot, can you solve this next problem, too? Oh my goodness, it's a slider. Puzzle number 15, fix the fossil. Here, here's a fossil that has been broken into nine pieces. It has been restored once before, but let's say one of the teachers is a bit clumsy. It used to be a three by three square. Can you put it back together? Since it's quite fragile, you can only move three pieces at, at a time horizontally or vertically. Put it back together at the center, center of the grid when it's complete. I think it's like this. Time to solve this little puzzle. Yep, there goes the camera. There is no puzzle without a solution. Not a single one. Correct. So it was an ammonite fossil. Oh, the jokes that can be made, the the memes, the references, but I will refrain from saying them in this recording. Can you solve this puzzle in just four moves? Who knew? Who have thought it would be so simple? Wait, wouldn't that be Helix and not Ammonite? If we were talking about a certain other game series. You got a new stage for you, so what do you about? Unearth the ruins. Alright. I see you've been sufficiently dazzled by the marvels of science. Enough for one day. Class dismissed. Wow, that just flew by. Cranky Collins is a grump, but he knows what... How to give a good lecture. Whoa. Is that what... Is that what... What is that you're pestering him? What is that you were pestering him about? <laughs> Curious, are you? Curious as to why you would prove the person who controls your grave, yes? Provoke. Rather, not prove. Well... Come over to my house later tonight. I will explain everything. Don't make me the bad guy, Herschel. I hate withholding information from you. Randall, honestly. Sometimes I don't understand you at all. And so goes the price of genius. Just meet me at my place after dinner, okay?
And let's do the little robot mini game. Okay. Unearthed ruins. And a ru an ancient ruin left by a lost culture. Small but perfectly formidable. Excuse me. Boom, boom, boom! That looks, that looks really Mayan, I think. Oh, I didn't mean to go back there. Undo. I meant to go there. And down. Completed Unearthed Ruins. Sixteen wandering watches. Four people are talking at the end of a very enjoyable evening party, comparing watches. They realize none of them had the correct time. A says, "My watch is ten is always twenty minutes slow." B says, "This old thing is ten minutes slow." C says, "I set mine five minutes fast." And he says, mine is 10 minutes fast. What time is it? Well. Twenty minutes slow, 10 minutes slow, five minutes fast, 10 minutes fast. Um. I guess, I guess, um, 105 could be the 20 minutes slow and then the 135 10 minutes fast. If you go by that logic, it's, uh, 125. If I got it. Yeah, looks up. Looks like it. Correct. It's 1:25 in the morning. It's a nice evening, but it's time to go home to bed. Time waits for no time may, may wait for no man, but it seems I must wait for time. Now you can find him in Wonderland in the with his little robotic minutes and. In seconds. Pity for an umbrella. I pity an umbrella who ain't in a puzzle. Puzzle number 17. Busted umbrella. A friend of yours is having a bit of trouble in the shop. 
A, a sudden gust of wind broke my umbrella. It was my favorite too. I was hoping to buy a new one with the exact same design. All the umbrellas here look pretty similar, so it's hard to find one that matches my broken one. Which umbrella should you pick? Well, first of all, the handle is curved with a little monkey head on it. Let's start with the with that. Hold on the memo. And A has a square handle with a monkey head. D doesn't have the monkey head. Neither does C. So that leaves so that leaves B and E with the monkey heads. Oh yeah, and, and the umbrella doesn't have polka dots on the inside. So it's B. I'm not certain. Did I get it? Yes, you did, Herschel. Yes, you did. The answer is umbrella B. A's handle is different. B's handle has no decoration. D has more spokes, and E has a design design on the inside as well as the outside. I'll just leave the umbrella here. The, it's practically part of the scenery now. And now we talk to this guy. Oh. Hello, Dalston. Hey, Broadskulls. Off on another adventure to Camelot. Say hi to the dragons for me, you ninny. Archaeology is the study of our past. Even if you must... Even you must see the value in that, Dalston. You can't have any cash from the past. When are you going to wake up from that? While, you, while you're digging up poultry, I'll be running my very own hotel. I'm going to have more hotels than my ho old man. That archaeology stuff will never get you out of Sansbury. You know. You know. I happen to like Sansbury, Dalston, but London's a really nice place to get decent university to get a decent university degree in archaeology. Well, while you're studying ancient spoons, I'll be building my hotel empire. Wonderful. I'll always need a base of operations for my expeditions. Fairy tale that has 